and your people, people you descend from, did they put people in slavery or are you a descendant of slavery? You know, I'm a descendant of David. No, that ain't what I asked you. No, I'm a descendant of David. Okay, how do you know that? Genealogy. What does your genealogy say? I'm a direct descendant of King David. How do you know that? Y'all don't have King David's blood to do that. How do you know that when you don't have King David's blood to put yours against? Yeah. See how that's a lie? Just tell the truth. No, no, uh, tell the truth. Or did your people put a race of people in slavery in America and all over the world and colonize Africa people. too? Not my people. So not your race. So your race didn't do it. Y'all see how you want to be honest? Right? believe that Jesus was a man right here, he believes, so, and you've been baptized, right? You've been baptized, right? Dipped in water, right? All right. So, how do we get saved in the Bible? According to the Bible, how? How do you get saved? Say it again. Okay, it's been a while since you've been to church. All right, well, what did you learn? Like, as a child, how do you get saved? What do you say? Submit yourself to God. How do you do that? Commandments. The commandments. All right. So keep the commandments, right? Right? All right. Now, so like you just said, that is how we get saved. Now let's see about the Duncan and water. Let's get that in Peter's real quick. Let's get that in Peter's real quick. And then we're going to deal with what he said as well, because it's going to all tie right in together. Because he said, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He is. But he's only that way to a certain people, a bloodline of people. Right. Not everybody. And the only ones that can be baptized according to the Bible is those very same people. Right. And there's a way you got to do it. Watch this. Let's read that in Peter's, that it ain't even about you getting dipped in water at all. Read. First Peter chapter 3 verse 21 uh -huh. out. The like figure went to even baptism Does also now save us Read on. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh What do we use to put away the dirt off our body? At the end of the day you come home from work What do you do to get the dirt off of, the body, off of your body? You get in the shower, right? You use water, right? So it said baptism ain't got nothing to do were you putting off the dirt of your flesh, meaning water? What? Getting dipped in water has nothing to do with baptism. Now watch and see what does. Go ahead. But the answer of a good conscience. The answer of a what? A good conscience uh -huh. towards God. So you have to have a good conscience. Your mind must be clean toward God. Right. But if you're breaking the Sabbath day, who was given that law? What race? Because you said we got to submit to the commandments of God, right? Who was given those laws? Give me that in Psalms 1, uh, uh, you know, 1, 1, 1, uh, 142, 19, 20, 147, 19, 20, 1920. Watch this. I'm going to show you who those laws was given to. Who was it given to? Was it given to everybody in the Bible? Because this goes with what he said, right? Because you believe that everyone was given the commandments of God and they wasn't. Then you believe that as well, right? You were taught that growing up that everybody got the commandments of God. Watch this. Read. Psalms chapter 147 verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. You ever heard this before, bro? So you smoking a cigarette, you were given a law to have your mind and your body clean. Is that cleaning it or defiling it? What is that? That's a vape. What kind is it? A medical vape? That's actually worse than cigarettes. That's worse than cigarettes. You're actually defiling your temple. It's not being cleaned at all. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He gave his statutes and judgments to who? Israel. So the only people that got the laws of God were the Israelites. That's it. So anybody that wants to say they're going to be saved by God and submit to his laws, who do you have to be to do it? We just read it. You have to be an Israelite. Because everybody else wasn't given it. Matter of fact, is that it on that? Go ahead. 
He have not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt deal what? Dealt so with any nation. So he hadn't did that with nobody else. You've never heard that in your life, sir. You've never heard that either, right? So this man in back here saying uh, yeah, what yeah. we say. We're reading it out of the Bible that God only gave the commandments to the Israelites. Yeah. And he only deals with the Israelites. He just said he do not deal Jesus with anybody else. The law. You said everybody. You said Jesus did? Jesus watch this. Gave the law. Okay. Yeah, watch, everybody. watch, watch, man. Watch. You wanna listen now? Listen. Because you said that we said it. We're gonna read it out of Jesus' mouth. Right. Finish that right there. Go ahead. He, he, not so. he have not dealt so with any nation. Uh -huh. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Uh -huh. Praise ye the Lord. He said, and the other nations don't even know the judgments of God. Right. Because the most wicked people on earth is the very same ones that put us in slavery. Right, right here. Right. Right here. The most wicked people on the planet. Why don't they why don't they get the judgments of God then? Why do we all why are we on the bottom? Because we break the laws and not all other races that break them too. Because you got kids, right? You got kids, right? No. No, you you got nieces and nephews and stuff, right? Right? You got kids, right? No, you got nieces and nephews too, right? If they do something, cause they your family. You got cousins. Okay, you got a mom and daddy, don't you? Whenever you disobeyed your mom and pop's commandments, they rules, what did they do to you? Did they punish you? That's, that's the answer. Did your parents punish you when you went against them? Did your parents punish you when you went against them? Why didn't they punish everybody in your neighborhood? Bring it out. It's because your ro your rules in your house from your parents didn't apply to everybody else. It only applied to those that was of that household, which was you. So now we are the house of Israel. These laws only apply to us. Why don't our people, why you can't understand that? Now we're going to read that about Christ now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Romans chapter 9. How? How are you not? How are you not a part of Israelites? Okay. All right, watch this. Let's take a step back. I'll ask the question. Did your people, people you descend from, did they put people in slavery or were you a descendant of slavery? You know, I'm a descendant of David. No. That ain't what I asked you. No, I'm a descendant of David. Okay. How do you know that? Genealogy. What does your genealogy say? I'm a direct descendant of King David. How do you know that? Y'all don't have King David's blood to do that. How do you know that when you don't have King David's blood to put yours against? See how that's a lie? Just tell the truth. No, no, uh, tell the truth. Or did your people put a race of people in slavery in America and all over the world and colonize Africa people. too? Not my people. So not your race? So your race didn't do it. Y'all see how he won't be honest? You see how he won't be honest? You see how he won't be honest? Hey, 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 race or people? I'm, a race is a, it's the same thing as a people. Nationality ain't a nationality or race. What is nationality versus race then? Tell me the difference. Okay, nationality is where you're That's where you what? No, that is citizenship. Where you at is where your citizenship is, not your nationality. Come on, man. So you're an American. Are you an American by blood? Because that's where you at, you said. Where your, your race is, your nationality is where you at. No, it's where you come from. You ain't from America. Your people did not originally come from America. Africa is not a real name. That's a false name, too. And you come from Israel. Question. Yes. Um, Ask your question. And then we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. Yeah, Romans 9. Wait a minute, Hold on. Wait a minute, sir. He's trying, to, he trying to ask a question. He's trying to ask a question. Now, I already asked you. You didn't tell the truth first. We're going to come back to you again. We're going to come back to you again. Here we go. Because you're going to prove a whole lot of points for us today. Um, the question is. Yes. In the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. The Israelites were slaves, right? Yes. To in the New Testament, the Israelites were slaves to Romans. But in the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, we were slaves to the Assyrians, to the Egyptians, to the uh, Babylonians. to the Babylonians, to the Persian Medes, to the Greeks. Yeah. 
But but when it comes down to the Egyptians, whether or not like us, which we'll they were they black people? Watch this. You hold where you at. Give me uh, uh, Exodus 7, 11, 11, 7, whichever one it is. Watch. I'm gonna prove it to you. Yes, we were slaves to the Egyptians, but does that mean we are Egyptian? Matter of fact, watch this. Are Chinese people and Japanese people the same? But they look alike. You see how our people do? But they look alike and when we know they're not the same people. But then when we see black people, we immediately say all of us are the same. Everyone was black in the Bible until Esau, which is your so-called white man today, came on earth. Everybody was dark skinned. So the fact that it was eight, it's 18 nations in the Bible and only one of them came as Esau, you mean to tell me out of all of them, they not, they, they, they had color, but we act like we, we can't understand that we're different? You see what I'm saying? We know Chinese and Japanese people are different. Because they are Ammon and, uh, uh, and Moab in the Bible. We get the difference, but we can't understand that we're different from each other. We're going to read it then. I'm going to read it for you, so that way you'll know. We're going to read it for you. Watch. 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 We're going to read it for you. Watch. 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 Tell me. No, no, let them, let them read the Bible. Here we go. We're going to read the Word of God. Remember, you said that the Word of God, that's what's saying. How you doing, my brother? Watch this. Watch this. Uh, Eric. Brother. And Come around here right now. I want, you, I want you to see this. I want you to see. My great great grandfather owned your great great grandfather. Yeah, and you have, and your that means that actually means you are not the kingdom of heaven is not for you. Watch this, sir. I'm gonna prove it. Watch this about the Egyptians and the Israelites. Read Exodus chapter eleven, verse seven. Uh -huh. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Can a dog speak? Can dogs talk? Can dogs talk? So if what kind of what what talks people? So what is God calling people that is not an Israelite? Dogs. He's calling all the other races dogs. He did it in the Old Testament. He did it in Matthew as well in the New. Go ahead. Shall a dog not move his tongue uh -huh. against men of peace that ye may know that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel? He put a difference between who? The Egyptians and Israel. So you see that, sir? We ain't the same. Right. right. We were slaves in Israel. We built the pyramids. Right. right. They didn't build them. We did. Just like when you go to South America now, it's more pyramids in South America than in Africa. Because they're those very same people that was over there building them over there in Egypt were the same ones building them over here on this side of the earth. Right. My family never made you build no pyramids. Watch this, sir. Watch this. Yes, My family didn't do that. What's your, watch this. Romans chapter 9. I'm going to read this. I want y'all to hear this. I want you to hear this too. Because I think your confusion is that you believe that everybody gets a shot at this. We're going to read it out of the New Testament in Romans. Watch this. Romans chapter 1. Nope, I want uh, 9 chapter 1. Here we go. Romans chapter 9 verse 1. Uh -huh. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. So Paul is talking right here, right? That's Saul, who wrote Romans. Saul of Tarsus. Paul. That was his old name. Yes, it was. And then it was changed to Paul. Go ahead. My conscience also bearing me witness uh -huh. in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continue sorrow in my heart. Read. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ uh -huh. for my brethren. So Paul says he wished he could have died and he was a curse for his brothers the same way Christ became a curse for us. Right. He said he wished he could have did it too. But that was only meant for Christ to die for our sin. So right. Paul loved his people, his brethren so much that he said if I could die and save you, I would do it. Now watch and see who he said who his brothers was. Because he said for his brethren. Watch this. My kinsmen, uh -huh. according to the flesh. No, for spiritual people. According to the flesh. You know how you got a cousin by blood and you got a cousin by blood. This is what he's talking about. His kinsmen, according to the flesh. So the bloodline that these people are. Go ahead. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Israelites. So they're not the Egyptians. Who are Israelites? They're not Ammon or Moab. Who are Israelites? They're not Esau neither. He's only talking about the Israelites now. Yeah. So the only people that Paul belonged to and come from, and that is his brothers by flesh, by blood, is the Israelites. Yeah. Let's, now let's read on and see what belongs to these people, which up. is who we are. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth? Don't the word pertaineth mean belong? The word pertaineth. So to these Israelites... 
this belongs to them. Let's see what it is. The adoption. The adoption. The only people that can repent and say they God's sons and daughters is the Israelites. That's right. That's what the adoption was for. That's why Christ died so we can be adopted back. That's why it says repent or reconcile. To reconcile means to rejoin. Right. How do you rejoin if you was never a part of it in the first place? That means every race cannot repent. Reconcile means you come I've back. Always How do you come back if you was never there I've in always the first been a place? Of the race. You understand that? Uh, What's your question? We're going to read down, but I want to hear your question. I've always been a part of the race. What is your question? Are you an Israelite? Are you a descendant of the slave trade? Those that was put in slave. The people that did that had this done to them, this is Northern Kingdom, which will be your Hispanics and, and your so-called Native Americans today. Did your people do this to them or were you a descendant of them? See, I don't know if I want to answer that question now. I'm, I'm so are you a Native American, a so-called Native American? An uh, Indian? Or, or, so like you told him, your great-great-grandfather might have had his people in slavery. I'm going to prove to you that you're going to pay for what your grandfathers did. Go ahead, what you got? Uh, my grandfather did nothing. Go ahead, what you say? My grandfather didn't own anybody. What's your question? How you doing, my brother? Y'all come up and watch the sign. What you got? It's a few questions. Uh-huh. So basically, God is very selective when it goes to heaven? Yes. God, God, yes, he is very God selective. For one, you have to submit and keep the commandments, and you have to be an Israelite. Right. I'm going to read it. I'm going to finish reading down so you will understand that. So basically, those, those count as maximum. Even if you're a Gentile, God wants you in his kingdom. Gentile, get that in the Bible dictionary. God wants you in his kingdom. Now, because he what is a Gentile in the New Testament? Why don't nobody ever explain what that is? Another. Uh, uh, I want to hear your other question, though. Because, yes, that is the answer to your question, we just read that. I didn't make that up. We just read that God is selective. We just read it, right? So that means I didn't make that up. So that means God said that. So yes, God is selective on who if you gets into the God kingdom of heaven. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. 